Hi and welcome to visual basic tutorial of an inventory management system. Let me show you guys how this project works. I'm going to reset and if I select an item that we are meant to loan, there you can see the item code, the cost per day and how many days would you like to borrow it for minimum is one and let's assume we want to go for 175 days there we go okay credit limit that you can have there is 20 175 days and you get a discount of 10 bucks. okay what you pay per day 71 pounds per day and you have a check yes payment due no did you deposit anything now and method of payment let's assume that is a visa card and this is checked you accept the term of agreement okay if you don't want any mail to be sent to you and right there as soon as you select how many days you see date of application next credit review last credit review and so on is all displayed right there okay now you can just let's assume we change that can you see that so all we just need to do is click on total and there we go so what i'm going to do right now is to take you guys into visual basic development environment and we'll put one of these very beautiful tutorial together so let's do that now guys okay guys let's click on create new project and right here make sure you select visual basic click on that and let's click on next now let's give our application a name i'm going to call that vb underscore inventory system there and let's click on create okay our development environment is ready the next thing is let's go straight to the properties right here and set the the form size to 1386 by 800 and click on OK. The next thing is let's come straight to the toolbar here. And I need panel. Let's draw a panel there. Go to the property and enhance the look of this panel. So let's go to border. I'm going to make that fixed 3D. I can now copy this panel across one here and bring that right down and copy this now copy this here bring this down and copy it from above here there we go my panel development is ready okay now let's go to the tools here and add some components on board so the first one i'm going to go for label any label here and let's just copy that label here okay i'm going to change the size of these two labels to something a little bit readable let's come in here and just make that maybe about 16. right make that bold 16. that's fine and also i'm going to need more labels here i need some here in about five here hold on the control click and drag right that's fine and I need four of those somewhere here and another four here right let's grab some text box on board text box here one here combo box okay combo box one here and one here now we need a couple of combo box underneath here right i need five up here and one more here yeah two combo box here and text box text box here and one here okay position that here that's fine all right that's looking good now we need check box Need four checkbox. Grab 
that another checkbox should be inside let's copy this I want it inside the panel right click and drag drag only four of those really there and rich text box one rich text box here and one rich text box here bring that down okay that's fine and move this up a little bit and right underneath here I'm gonna need as follows one two and three and select those three click and drag and let's go into the properties and change the look of those ones to something that looks like a text box so background color white border style fixed 3d auto size make that force there we go so I can then get rid of the text content I have in there there and just and this here will be let's call that total and the next one is going to be subtotal subtotal and here that should be task right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of like speed up the naming of the whole interface and get back to you but before I do that let's come in here I need some buttons there let's grab three of those right one two and three there if I run it now this is what you guys will see right there guys this is how the interface is looking so all I just need to do now is to give them proper names and I'll get back to you guys you can all do that without or without any problem so let's give them all a name so the very first one here this is going to be known as product description so let's do that then I'll speed up the rest so that will be description there we go as the very first one and this is number of days this is going to be known as cost per day let's put pound sign there cost per day and this one is product code Yeah, so I'm going to now speed up the whole process and get back to you guys shortly. Okay, guys, this is how my interface looks now. So what I'm going to do is start work with the coding. But one thing first, you see these checkbox. I'm going to delete those. Let's change those to dates, time picker. There we go. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing for this one and let's just enhance the look of each of them. Drag it and come straight to the properties, increase the size of the font. So let's make that a little bit bold. There we go, all sorted. Now let's start work with some coding. So, first thing first, double click on the exit button and let's declare a variable I exit as dialog results and come right down here I exit equals message box message box dot dot show the following message let's say confirm confirm if you want to exit so let's say comma and let's give that a name Eventual system comma again and use the following method message box buttons dot yes or no so that will give the user an option to select whatever method they want to use and the other one is message box icon dot information I'm going to use information there we go 
now let's use an if statement to validate what option the user makes if i exit equals dialog result dot yes then application dot exit you can always write application dot exit but however the end user might end up making a mistake that's why i prefer it, prefer it this way so the system will actually prompt you to confirm if you want to exit or not so let's run it and we'll see how it works there we go guys so let's try out the exit click on exit button there we go nope that was a mistake exit yes confirmed that's good okay as you can see you saw the information so if i run it again you'll see what i mean by the information click on that you see the information icon supposing i change it to some other type of icon so let's assume i change that to question dot q that's a question close that and what you will see the icon will be question mark click you see question mark the choice is yours whatever you want to use i just want to enter information that might not be the ideal one but that's just what i want to enter that's so that's fine okay now you know how to change that around so let's come in here you see the reset button double click on the reset with the reset button i'm going to start as follows let's say chk okay let's go for yep dot checked i'm going to make that force equals force yeah so i'm just going to copy that to speed that up copy the next one the next one is going to be chk that paste now chk let's go for restricted mail paste and chk so terms of agreement paste now the next one let's go for txt product okay cost dot clear the choice is yours you can use that txt pay due date dot clear as well and you can also use txt two dot code dot text equals clear you can clear it like that the choice is yours one more txt there dot test there now the next one let's use ldl subtotal dot equals clear ldl dot text clear and ldl total dot text equals clear as well so we're making a very good start so the next one is let's take care of the date time picker so date time picker so i'm going to reset those to let's say dot value equals today just in case if i change them so there's four of those i'm just going to copy that and change the name the numbers around number two three and four the date time pick assorted and now c m b let's say account e dot text really dot text equals select an option right there and i will repeat the same thing for the other combo box there we go those are all the combo box taken care of now let's take care of the rich text box rt information dot clear there rt receipt dot clear there so those are the lines of code for my reset buttons okay let's move that up a little bit so that you guys can see what i'm talking about 
right there we go all right that's looking good now let's come back in here next one we want to take care of now or before we do any other thing let's just run it and you guys see how it works anyway there we go if we change this there's nothing in there there's something nothing in here so let's say we add some stuff in here and let's see let's assume we change this date around we should be able to reset it back to today's date right have I taken care of this let's see okay there we go you see how it works that's fine reset is working so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of the very first part of this tutorial and I'll see you guys shortly